Good morning and welcome to our last session of the Soil Health webinar series. Um, our topic today is programs and funding to support soil health practices. Um, our next speaker is going to be Mike Thompson. He's going to talk about carbon trading and Mike is with Indigo Ag. All right. Let me. Thank you, Mary. All right. So we believe carbon farming could be transformative for farm economics. So we designed the Indigo Carbon Program to help growers capture the potential upside in as many dimensions as possible. So let's take a look. For a quick overview, the Indigo Carbon Program brings cutting edge science and digital technologies to support you in adding beneficial farming practices in order to generate carbon credits that adhere to high quality of standard. In addition to these high quality credits, our program is going to help improve the health of your soil and the value of your land over time. So to take a look back, when we started with the Indigo Carbon Program back in 2019, we began looking at other carbon markets that had been in play and to understand what had worked and what hadn't worked. One example we, we looked at was the Chicago Climate Exchange, which got off to a great start and then slowly fizzled away. Two of the key issues with that program that we noticed were there just were not enough rigorous standards for ag carbon credits at the time. And also there was a lack of sustained demand. So we set out to solve those problems. We teamed up with Climate Action Reserve and Vero, these third party registries to develop carbon accounting rules for agriculture. These organizations are two of the world's leading standard setting bodies for carbon projects of all kinds from forestry to industrial emissions and many more. And both have a high proven track record to, of offset quality. We expect their stamp on these carbon credits will be much like the USDA organic stamp that you see in the grocery store. Buyers are willing to pay more because they see that stamp and they have gives them a confidence that it has met the, the rigorous standards. So we believe that these registry sign-offs are going to be important to the market because the market is already showing a growing willingness to pay for high quality credits and as demand is on the rise supply has been slow to catch up with over 30 percent of the fortune 500 companies making climate neutrality commitments more and more are going to be looking to carbon offsets to be part of their plan to achieve these goals the boston consulting group you see here in the middle on the bottom is stating publicly they're planning to pay $35 in the next few years and as much as $80 per credit by the end of the decade. So as the stakes get higher for these credits, the transparency and the quality that these registries provide will only become more important for the sale of ag carbon credits. So here's a snapshot of some of the companies that have already pre-ordered carbon credits from Indigo. You also notice the BCG group there in the center towards the bottom that's the company that just from the previous slide stated $80 by the end of the decade. With this list alone, our first year carbon credits are, are sold out. So even with hundreds of farmers on track to get paid this year, we still have plenty of room for more to come into the program. So let's talk about how a grower can get paid. The most, most basic requirements of the program is for generating carbon is to implement a a new practice into your operations. So planting cover crops, reducing tillage, diversifying crop rotation, rebalancing your inputs. These are the kind of the overlying categories, but under each one of these categories, there's many different things that we can look at from, you know, implementing other species of covers to the aggressiveness of the tillage to, you know, when we look at balancing inputs, specifically nitrogen, we're focused there. So there's many different things that we can look at. In addition to the revenue from carbon credits, farmers, we know you see benefits from this as well. As we look at that, you know, here's some of the benefits, increased water room filtration, which will lead to improved drought tolerance, improved weed management by keeping the ground covered, the biological life active, and the list goes on. So here's kind of the basic steps of the program. The steps in blue is what the grower takes with the program. 
the steps in gray are what Indigo takes care of. So sign up using our web platform, plan your carbon farming practices you want to implement, make those changes, add those practices into our platform. Then you'll have a digital harvest at the end of the year. From there, Indigo takes it over. And we do all the legwork to turn your management information into high quality carbon credits. The program is free. There's no purchase requirements whatsoever to participate in the Indigo Carbon Program. So step one, sign up carbon.indigoag.net. You go on there, have this web platform. You can map out your fields in here. You can map them out, draw them out, select them, upload them, where we can uh, implement many software, management software programs, shapefiles, whatever you have them in, and be able to pull them over into the system. So next step, make a plan. You have myself along with our agronomist here in Ohio to help you make that plan to uh, implement practices or find practices that are gonna work for your operation. We're gonna meet you wherever you're at in your with your operation. So there's never gonna be a time where we're gonna say you have to do X, Y, and Z. It's meant to meet you wherever you're at in your operation. The decisions that you, the practices you implement are completely up to you. Then you implement those practices. It's like planting your carbon crop for the first time when you implement those practices and once again, the decision of what you do, completely up to you. Next step, the digital harvest. Well, so we think of it as a digital harvest rather than a physical harvest, because this is a time when you're going to share management records to show that you've, the changes you've made, and this can be done through our carbon platform. The good news is the harvest season for carbon is in the winter months, so it shouldn't get in the way of farming the rest of the year. You see Morgan and Todd on the right. This is our customer success team. They're available to help with any questions you have as you're working through this management up, data upload. You can always chat with them. Once you finish that, Indigo takes it from there. So the payment structure looks like this. So you generate credits year one, we pay 50% of that credit year two, 20%, 10%, the remaining three. And that the reason is these companies that are buying these credits, they're looking for permanency of these credits. They want that, that carbon to remain in the soil long-term. But as time goes on, these credits start to stack on top of themselves. So you get to year two, as you can see here, you generate new credits. Those credits then stack on top of year one, so 50% from year two, 20% from year one, that year two credit now is paid out for five years. Fast forward to year five, same thing. You know, year five is 50% stacked on the previous years. Year five is gonna be paid out for five years. So that was a quick overview of the Indigo Carbon Program. Once again, to get started, carbon.indigoag.net create your free account, log, log in, create a map out your fields. You can map out one, you can map out a hundred, however many you want to do of your own. So getting started is simple, free, flexible. They're registry issued carbon credits, making them a high quality carbon credit, increasing the value of those. And we're working with leading global brands as well as many more to come in the future. So thank you. Here is my contact information along with our agronomist contact and we'll take any questions at the end. Um, Mike, Mike, maybe you can speak to this. We do have a question surrounding just the idea of uh, what is maybe uh, from your perspective, what are corporations interest in uh, paying the farmer to do these carbon offsets instead of a different route? What, what I guess is the appeal of doing it uh, this way for the corporation and um, how that benefits the grower? Sure. So they all have uh, sustainability goals in play. And like I said, they, these climate neutrality commitments that they've made, and they're going to be looking for all types of carbon offsets to make that. But ag is one of the biggest places that we can 
generate a lot of increased carbon credits and carbon sequestration there. But they're also paying a voluntary tax today uh, for carbon emissions, and they're looking to avoid a mandated tax like some of the other industries uh, have faced over the uh, in the past. So, you know, that, that they're, they're trying to be proactive instead of reactive, but it all comes down to, I mean, it, it's, it looks good for their company and their investors as well. And so they're, they're looking to do whatever they can to um, be environmentally conscious, I guess, from that aspect. Sure, thanks for that. And also to follow up on that, there's a question um, kind of hypothetical, so maybe you don't have a direct answer, but in the future, if the agriculture industry was expected to be carbon neutral, uh, would there be credits available for um, growers themselves if they're enrolled with a program like Indigo's? That is a great question. And I, I don't have an exact answer for that. Um, that's Fair enough for your willingness to take time with us and to share information and um, answer questions. 